Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. So you guys have been asking over in the members community how to start your project. So if you're working with like wall hangings or mandalas or um, making ornaments or something like that, starching is gonna be used. It makes everything easier, it makes things stiff so you don't have to worry about them folding in on themselves and it's stronger than just blocking something. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. There's a product that you can buy or there's a product that you probably have in your house and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's super easy, this probably won't be that long of a video, um, but if you have any questions about it, just leave those in the comments below and I really look forward to seeing you guys starching your projects and getting them all gorgeous for the whole year. Hi friends, when you look in the description below this video, there's going to be a link there that contains free patterns. Make sure you click that, check it out, and I'm so excited to see how you make them. Bye guys. All right, so like I said, today I'm gonna show you guys how to um, stiffen or like permanently block your crochet items. So we have this little coaster thing from the Falling Leaves crochet along we did um, back in November, and I'm gonna show you guys how because I don't use this as a coaster because I made it with acrylic yarn, so I use this to put like little bowls on top of, but you can see it's like curled up in spots and it needs to be, it needs to be stiffened. So what I do is I've got this, um, it's just fabric stiffener or draping liquid. Um, it's fantastic. I use this a lot for crochet ornaments as well. I make some like snowflakes or stars or things like that at Christmas time and I use this to keep their shape. Um, you can also use just basic Elmer's glue, um, like the big bottle of white Elmer's glue. You can do the same thing with that. I just had this underneath my kitchen cabinet so that's what we're going to use today. Um, and then I have a scale and a little bowl. This is my bowl. I only use this for draping. Same with this spoon. It's just for this material because it's it's a chemical so you want to not cross contaminate it with your food and then I mix this it says you can mix it up to 50% I normally go a little bit thinner than that um, especially when working with like a worsted yarn it also says to wear gloves I'm not wearing gloves I it dries your hands out really bad but I'm just gonna use my spoon so I just putting equal parts in Yeah, it looks like glue. And then I grab my water bottle. I add the water in. And you don't need to use this scale. I just tend to. And then you just mix it up. And if you'll be able to tell if you need more, like if there's a lot of extra water, like right now I have extra water. But as you stir it up, and you want to make sure you mix it up really good. And I'm going to need a little bit more than that to cover all of those leaves. So you just add some more glue or fabric stiffener or whatever you're using. And we will add a little bit more water. I highly recommend though using Elmer's glue versus this fabric stiffener. Uh, the brand is fantastic. It can just get really expensive on Amazon. Um, I think that bottle was like $13 or $15 or something like that. It smells like glue. It feels like glue. It dries like glue. So, got my paper towel to put my spoon on. And then we just put it in here and you just want to submerge it all.
And then I squeeze out all of the extra. <clears throat> Put that over on my blocking mat. I'm going to wipe my hands off. And I will go wash my hands after this. I just know I'm going to be touching it again. And then I just take my blocking mat and my pins and I lay it out. And I'm going to pin it down in all of the corners that I want it pinned in. And this is very similar to just blocking, but it, it stays that way. So it won't, it won't curl back up. It won't, it won't do any of that. All right, so we have everybody pinned, they're down, they're good to go. Um, I'm gonna let this dry and then I will show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Um, my hands are sticky. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands, we'll let this dry. It does take a little while to dry. Um, normally when I do like Christmas ornaments or something like that, it takes overnight. Um, so we'll test it out here in a couple hours, see what it looks like um, and then I'll be able to show you guys how it holds up afterwards. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, so it's the next day. Um, this is dry, it is good to go. So we're gonna take out all of our pins. And it is hard as a rock. <laughs> and sometimes the pins get like glued in there. You just kind of gotta pull on them. Let's try not to stab myself with them. can hear that like popping and that's it just stuck to the to the uh, mat all right so it's all blocked you can see or it's all starched you can see even with it not being pinned down it's stuck like it's not moving But yeah, 
So this, this is all good to go. It didn't change the colors any. They're still bright and vibrant. Um, the back of it and some of the colors, I don't know if you can see it, you can see where the, the glue um, is still there and it's still white. Um, so just kind of be careful when you're doing that. You can also lay this down on like plastic wrap before you put it on your blocking mat. Um, I don't care this one I use specifically for um, block or for starching. I know that it's number six so this is the one that I mainly use for that. Um, and it doesn't bother me any, but I know that this is just going to be laid down on my table. I'm not going to be flipping it over and using the other side anyway, um, but it's not that noticeable. I mean, you can see it in the video, but in real life, the light's not shining on it, so it's not as bright. But they are still bendable, but not, like the corners aren't gonna curl up on you. It's not gonna go crazy. It's just beautiful. And I love it. I love starching things like this. Like I said, it's great for Christmas ornaments. Um, but yeah, so it's the same concept if you're doing it with glue. I know I said at the beginning that I'd be showing you two ways. I just showed you the one way, but it's the same thing. You use glue and water, and you can use it that way, or you can use the starching liquid and water and do it that way. It's the exact same thing. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, just leave those in the comments below. I hope this helped you guys out. And if not, um, let me know what else you want to see. Or if you have questions, like I said, leave those and I will answer those as best as I can. Bye guys.